Well, the first exercise is a simple uh, band pass over. Um, it is really, really nice uh, to uh, to do this particular exercise. If you do have a band, it really nicely fires up your deltoids or your shoulder muscles. I recommend you keep a little bit of attention um, in your shoulders as you do that. Um, of course, if you can do it in a deep squat, um, it is even better because you also activate your back muscles, which is fantastic. But if you can't, don't worry about it. This is a pretty challenging variation. And again, just do some nice pass throughs, like whatever feels nice. You don't necessarily have to do it, um, you know, both arms at the same time, but just, but just keep the tension, um, in the band as you're doing that. Uh, this is also very, very nice if you do have a band. Um, you can either do it with the thumbs pointing in the way I'm doing it right now, and that kind of fires up a little bit more your shoulders. And if you have your thumbs po pointing outwards, then it also uh, helps activate your lats a little bit as well as your shoulder. So um, yeah, just um, kind of amend the tension as much as you need. Uh, of course, if you don't have equipment, this is a fantastic exercise. We have shown it in the mobility video and I can't recommend it more for both mobility activation. Um, but don't forget to keep your lower back against the wall, shoulders, elbows and uh, arms against the wall and to maybe um, five to ten slides. Keep your shoulders active. And again, if you can't really stretch your arms to the top, don't worry, it's very, very challenging. So. Don't be deceived by my smile. It is actually really tough. I really, really love this exercise. Um, this is a um, wall twist. Um, it really nicely activates your back as well. It keeps a fantastic tension in the shoulder. And I really, really, really felt a great pump uh, from this particular exercise. So just try to kind of slide over and reach as far as you can. It is very important to um, not to press too much against the wall, kind of use it to anchor yourself, to hold a little bit, but don't necessarily press or drag yourself. Just try to keep that shoulder really active and kind of just hold there for a few seconds. So this is amazing. Uh, and I really, really felt such a fantastic activation for my shoulders during this exercise. So this is also a great variation. Um, this is more of a sweeping motion and uh, so to say wall circles. Um, and you do the same sweeping motion, uh, standing as close as you can to the wall. Both of those exercises, don't worry if you can't do them in a deep squat, um, the way I'm showing them here. If you really, really challenge in your deep squat, just feel free to stand up and, um, and do them standing, but I can definitely say the effect is not the same. But of course, if you're having issues with your mobility, do them standing. But if you can sit in a squat, I definitely recommend doing them in a squat and in a, as deep as possible squat, that being said. All right, if you do have a foam roller, um, I really, really like activating my uh, lats uh, and my triceps, um, and especially that little place where uh, the shoulder connects with the lats. Um, you know, on a foam roller, you can do it, um, you know, uh, laying on the floor. I have also shown a variation with a lacrosse ball uh, in our mobility video. This is very, very nice um, also for mobility, but in this case, it's a great way to activate the lats and kind of get a little bit more blood into the muscle um, as we roll it with a foam roller. Okay. This is an amazing lat activation exercise with no equipment. So what you have to do here, it basically you slide backwards, you, ha you hand as far as you can, and then you turn it 90 degree to your uh, feet or to your body. You turn your thumb backwards and you press with your elbow inwards as much as you can. So we will repeat that. So you go back and then you put your arm and your thumb 90 degrees and you try to turn your thumb backwards and then you keep your elbow as back as you can. 
and this is an amazing way to activate your lats. Just do this um, and maybe hold it for three, four, five seconds is a great way to really, really feel your lats kind of getting uh, filled up with blood. This is also a great option. So you hold the band and you activate your lats. So you, you pull before you walk away and then you start walking out as much as you can while keeping the tensions and keeping your lats activated as much as you can. Take a little bit of a rest. So pull and then walk back a little bit while keeping the lats active. This is also a great way to activate your latissimo dorsi without necessarily fatiguing it and kind of getting it ready for that workout. So that's an awesome um, exercise. For your um, uh, legs and in general for the, um, uh, for the quads, um, I would recommend uh, kind of step ups. You can do it on a box, you can do it on a bench, you can do it on a chair at home. Uh, and if a step up is not challenging enough for you, you can do a couple of jumps the way I'm doing here. This is a great exercise to activate your uh, hamstrings if you don't have um, any equipment. So what you want to do is you want to point your toes and you want to squeeze your hamstring as much as you can. And trust me, it looks very easy, but the activation that you get on the hamstring is quite, quite amazing. Here, you'll have to do a little bit longer hold than you'll do probably for any other exercise. I would say anything from eight to 15 seconds, and you probably have to do it a little bit more um, you know, uh, more reps than with other exercises, but it's a fantastic way to activate uh, the, the, the quads um, without any equipment. So now to the glutes. This is one of my favorite glute activation exercises. And again, with a band, what you want to do here as you do your uh, monster walks, banded monster walks, is you want to make sure that you never really put your feet together because you do want to keep that band tension as you move um, as you move through the exercise. So you want to be uh, kind of pushing or doing an abduction on you on your legs as you're moving forward or backwards in this in this case, but this will fire up your glutes like there is no tomorrow. Honestly, only maybe 20 of those forward, backwards, left and right are more than enough to really fire up those glutes and get them ready for exercise. If you want to, that's also a very, very nice way to kind of fire up the glutes uh, and the abductors is to do some kind of air squats, banded air squats. What is very, very important here is that you push those knees out as you are doing squats and then you're creating some tension um, in, the, in the legs and also activating uh, the glutes. Very, very nice exercise. The last one is kind of a way to activate both the glutes and the quads sorry, and the hamstrings. Um, and you can do this on a bench. You can do this on, uh, even on your sofa. As you can see here, I'm doing it on a box. It's not crazy stable, but it still works. So this is a great way that absolutely equipment free, you can kind of activate your glutes.